In Los Angeles, the musician Moby has lived in one of the city's most impressive and eccentric properties, the Wolf's Lair, a 1920s-era replica of a Norman castle in the Hollywood Hills. Back in New York, where he came from, he owned a four-floor apartment at the top of the El Dorado building on Central Park West that had multiple turrets and terraces. That was the weirdest real estate I ever had, said Moby. The 49-year-old musician born Richard Melville Hall is perhaps best known for his pioneering electronic dance music in the early 1990s. But today, just steps from Griffith Park, Moby can be found in this 3,800-square-foot 1925 Los Feliz home. He bought it for $2.9 million last September. After years of living in exciting, flashy houses, what is the draw to this peaceful, traditional home? Moby's answer, the pines. He hikes through the forested park five or six evenings a week and planted his own pine garden around the property. On the top floor are his bedroom, yoga room, meditation area, and most importantly, music studio. Moby travels a tenth as much as he used to. He plans to open a vegan restaurant in Los Angeles in coming months. Downstairs, rooms feature the things that matter to him. His photography, art made by friends, vinyl collection, books, and empty space, as in this sunken living room he deliberately leaves unfurnished. It's not a Norman castle or one of the weirdest apartments in Manhattan. But amid his beloved pines, the musician finds peace, quiet, and contentment.